Oh, you f ah. it. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Okay, get out of the car. Okay, I'm get out of the car. I'm getting out. In Arkansas, that is state police officer Ryan Wingo. There's no need for that. Why are you doing that? He's doing it because his feelings were hurt. And now for this assault, Wingo is getting yeah. sued. It is not his first controversy. Last year, he shot to death another motorist. Two years ago, Wingo fired at a peaceful Black Lives Matter protester, shattering that man's jaw. Stand up. I'm trying, okay? Come on. And Wingo has no credibility, as this traffic stop proves. <laughs> this is f***ing ridiculous. This is ridiculous. In this incident near Hot Springs, Arkansas, Charles Donner, a U.S. military veteran, and his wife, Brittany, were driving behind Wingo. The trooper saw somebody speeding the opposite direction and suddenly pulled a U-turn from a driving lane. The Donners honked their horn from behind. Clearly annoyed, Wingo decided to make it a 360, letting the speeding car go and pulling behind the Donners who were now in front of him. The dash camera audio went on right as Wingo smashed into the back of their car. Pull into the parking lot. Pull into the parking lot. The Donners did pull into the parking lot, and the lines from Officer Ryan Wingo began. Go and send uh, one of the normal units over here to the uh, shoot factory. I had a car slam on the brakes in front of me. I had a car slam on the brakes in front of me. No, you flashed your lights, and they pulled over as they are supposed to do. License well, registration insurance, sir. Why are you pulling me over? Because you're following me too closely. You nearly rear-ended me. No, I did not. You slammed on your brakes. You had no brake. You had no turn signal or nothing. I had to turn around on the car without speeding. I'm doing my job out here, sir. Give me a last. You hit me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll see you in court, dude. I'm not sure what's going on after lying to the Bonners, Wingo stepped away from them and lied again to radio dispatch. I had a car following me too closely, nearly ran to me, turned around, got behind it, and it slammed on the brakes in front of me. I was unable to stop. I was 1038. But again, Wingo's own rear camera shows the Bonners were not following closely. And when Wingo got behind them, his own dash camera shows they did not slam on their brakes. Okay. Hey, you hit my fucking car. Wrong traffic stop right now. Out here. I want to see the damage done to my vehicle. Give me a minute. We're on a traffic stop right now. Once I get done with my traffic stop, we're falling too closely. I was not falling too close. Clearly you were. You hit me. You stopped in the middle of the roadway, sir. No, you I didn't stop. I got over and I was I was in the lane. You trying stopped to in the speed lane. back up. No, no I was trying to speed back up. Okay, you sir. You slammed on your gas. Okay. And you hit us. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I'm so I told you why I stopped you because you were following me too closely. But I wasn't. But okay. okay. We'll see in court. Okay. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? I sure do. You don't need your ID. Yes, I do, actually, for the accident report that you fine. so fo that you so want, sir. Yes. I do want it. Okay. You f***ing hit me. There's no damage between our vehicles, though. I don't well, give a f Bro, you f***ing hit me. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Okay. Get out of the car. Okay. I'm get out of the car. I'm getting out. There's no need for that. It's at this point when Brittany Donner started recording with her camera phone. This is f***ing ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Ma'am? There was no need for cussing me out. But cussing out a police officer, according to the U.S. Supreme Court, is protected speech and allowed under the First Amendment. Even under Arkansas law, telling a cop during a traffic stop to go f*** himself is not disorderly conduct. Until he can calm down and act like an adult, he's going to send back his car. Let me explain to you. My husband we has severe PTSD. Severe. Severe. He's a 100% disabled veteran. And he's... That's why I'm here. You gonna, talk, you gonna talk to me? You gonna let me talk? Or you just gonna interrupt me the entire time, ma'am? I'm sorry. Okay. Until he can calm down and act like a human being and stop cussing me out for no reason. So I'm trying to explain to him what happened. But he doesn't want to let me talk, okay? So do you want to let me talk or not? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Now. 
Back in Wingo's squad car, Charles Donner yelled for a police supervisor and demanded Wingo's name and badge number. You gonna calm down or not? Yeah. Hey, this is the biggest loss that you're ever gonna face. I want your badge number and I want your name yeah. written down for me. Stand by. When another state trooper arrived, Wingo lied again. He moves straight over from the inside lane to the outside lane, moves straight over and just slams on the brakes. And I'm just trying to get behind him, and he slams on his brake. And I didn't even have my lights on at that point, but he just stops in the middle of the road. And I hit him right A few minutes later, a state police supervisor got involved. The state police eventually released Mr. Donner without charging him with disorderly conduct, but they did issue a citation to him for following too closely and parking on a highway. The Donners have now filed a civil rights lawsuit. Get out. Okay. Get out of the car. Okay. I'm Get out of the car. I'm getting out. And they're using a GoFundMe page to help cover costs of attorney fees. Legal experts say the case against Trooper Wingo is very strong. They note the evidence is clear that Wingo caused the collision with the Donners, lied about the facts of the encounter, both verbally and in his police report, and violated Mr. Donner's First and Fourth Amendment rights. Given Wingo's record, the Donners could consider themselves lucky they were not physically hurt. In June of 2021, Officer Wingo chased down a motorcyclist named Andrew Kemp Jr. Kemp had allegedly been speeding, jumped off of his motorcycle, and ran into the woods. Wingo then shot him to death. There's no video of the fatal shooting, and there were no witnesses, but Wingo insisted that Kemp tried to grab his gun. And a local Arkansas prosecutor said Wingo's use of deadly force was justified. In June of 2020, Officer Wingo was at the state capitol in Little Rock for a Black Lives Matter protest. A man named Don Cook started walking towards police lines, and Wingo fired at him repeatedly with beanbag projectiles, striking Cook in the face. According to the Arkansas Times, Cook has had to undergo three surgeries to repair a shattered jaw and broken teeth. And yet, based on Officer Wingo's police report, Cook was charged with obstructing government operations. Controversy seems to follow Ryan Wingo, and it could be argued that he's one of the worst state troopers in America. For now, though, he is still on the job, and the Arkansas State Police are refusing to comment. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching.